okay so let's continue so here uh, hindi ba yung property is uh, ibebenta na ngayon yung pinagbentahan ito yung magiging breakdown the proceeds of sale shall be distributed as follows number one the cost of sale so ano yung cost of sale syempre yung ginastos mo para may institute yung sale B. Claim of the person for closing the mortgage. So, babayaran na si mort... Uh, for closing the mortgage. So, babayaran na si mortgage. C. Claims of junior encumbrancers in the order of their priority. And the balance after all the above are paid shall be paid to the mortgage or his agent. So, kapag yung pinagbentahan class is mayroon pang sumra, ibabalik yun dun sa debtor. Deficiency judgment So what if class Yung pinagbentahan Kulang sa pambayad ng utang If the proceeds of sale Are not sufficient To satisfy the claim Of the creditor The court Upon motion Shall render judgment Against the debtor For such bal balance So ibig sabihin ka Class Let's sabihin natin 100,000 yung utang Ngayon Nagkaroon na ng foreclosure yung lupa ibenenta yung pinagbentahan is only 80,000 so merong deficiency na 20,000 so anong gagawin ngayon ni creditor magka uh, magfile siya ng motion ibig sabihin ng motion uh, uh, magfile siya ng another uh, court action para ma recover niya yung deficiency naintindihan and then siyempre si korte magre-render ng judgment yan. Naintindihan? So, ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng magkolekta si creditor kung walang judgment ng korte. Naintindihan? Next, what is tipo or upset price? The price which is set by the parties as the amount at which the property will be sold at a public auction. So, ito class, tipo or upset price, di ba, Uh, yung property ibebenta na at public auction. So, ang sabi ng batas, it is a tip or upset price. This stipulation is null and void because it contravenes with the rule 68 of the rules of court which provide that the property mortgage shall be sold to the highest bidder. So, ibig sabihin class, di ba sabihin natin, may utang 100,000. May nakakulit collateral na lupa. sabi natin, isang hektarya. Ngayon, uh, hindi nakapagbayad si debtor. So, ang gawin na lang natin, ibenta na lang natin yung property. Babayaran na lang yung utang. So, syempre, ang sabi ng batas, dapat yung property is ibenta nyo at a public auction. Naintindihan? So, ibenta yun at a public auction. Hindi po pwedeng ibenta natin not in public auction. Why? Yun yung sabi ng batas. Rule 68 of the rules of court. Kasi nga, dapat uh, respetuhin natin yung highest bidder. Accordingly, even if there is a such stipulation, ipapano class kapag may stipulation pa rin sila, the sale of the property shall takes, take place in accordance with the requirement of the law and the property sold to the highest bidder. So, kahit may stipulation pa daw sila, yung tipo or upset price is null and void pa rin, sabi ng batas. So, this is actual case, BPI versus Yulo, Uh, 31 Philippine 472 Next uh, Another kinds of foreclosure Extrajudicial foreclosure This is made in compliance with the provision of Act number 3135 in the following cases Where there is a stipulation in the mortgage contract that the mortgage may be foreclosed extrajudicially So magkakaroon lang tas ng extrajudicial kung may stipulation ng both parties na yung foreclosure is pwedeng extrajudicial. 2. Where such extrajudicial foreclosure sale is made under special power of attorney inserted in the contract. In the, uh, so, take no class. Magkakaroon lang ng extrajudicial foreclosure kung una, may stipulation and then at the same time, merong nakatouch na special power of attorney. So, extrajudicial foreclosure class is not presumed. Hindi siya presumed kaagad. Ha? Distribution of proceeds. 
the proceeds shall be distributed in the same order as the case in judicial foreclosure. Pareho lang sila. Recovery of deficiency. In case of deficiency in a foreclosure sale, the creditor may recover the same from the principal debtor by a filing a court action. So, either judicial or extrajudicial foreclosure, kapag may deficiency, pwede pa rin makarecover si creditor. Pero, before that, mag-file muna siya ng court action. Uh, dito tayo, chattel mortgage tayo. So, what is chattel mortgage? Uh, chattel mortgage, syempre, yung utang na uh, ang involved is personal property. So, requisites of chattel mortgage, merong principal obligation. Yung mortgage or is the absolute owner of the mortgage. Three, the person constituting the mortgage must have the free disposal. So, and number four, that the document in which the mortgage appears in the record that appears be recorded in the chattel mortgage register. So, it's just the same with the real mortgage. Kaso nga lang, ang pinagkaiba nila here sa 4. Kung real mortgage, dapat registry of property or registry of deeds. Number Here in chattel mortgage, dapat chattel mortgage register. So, I don't know kung saan itong banda, pero pagkaalam ko is uh, may proper place yan. As for example, kapag motor, so LTO. Naintindihan? So, yun yung uh, pinagkaiba ng dalawa. The re this requirement, number four, is necessary for the validity of the chattel mortgage since registration thereof is part of the definition of the contract. Object of chattel mortgage. Those movable, susceptible of appropriation which are not included in the list of immovable. So, ang ganda ng explanation ng batas. Kung hindi siya immovable, ibig sabihin, movable siya. Naintindihan? So, kap yung mga hindi nyo nakita sa immovable, mapapol siya sa movable. Yan yung object ng chattel mortgage. Two, real property which by any provision of law is considered personality. So, take note class, ha? ang nagsasabi dito is batas. So, kahit, let's uh, say for example, here, uh, uh, growing crops or di kaya palay. So, although yung palay is naka-attach siya sa lupa, Pero, uh, makonsider pa rin siya as a uh, personal property. Naintindihan? Or movable property siya. Naintindihan? Next, forces of nature which are brought under control by sign. So, other objects of chattel mortgage, kaya na uh, kuryente. Oh, di ba kuryente? O di kaya uh, ilaw. O di kaya gas, gasolina. So, they are considered personal property or movable property. Four, in general, all things which can be transported from place to place without impairment of real property to which they are fixed. So, here's a number four, ang example nito class, paintings. Next is machinery and uh, machinery na hindi naka-attach sa lupa, ha? Obligations in action which have for their objects, movables or demandable sums. So, uh, example dito sa number 5, promissory note, right to recover a money debt by court action. So, gaya ng uh, kanina, uh, yung assignment of rights, uh, uh, personal property siya. Makonsider siya as personal property. And then number 6, shares of stock of agricultural Commercial industrial entities, although they may have real estate. Forms of forms of chattel mortgage. Between the parties, the mortgage must be recorded in the chattel mortgage register in the province where the mortgagor and also of the province where the property is located. 
if it is different from the residence of the mortgagor. If the mortgagor is domiciled outside the Philippines, the mortgage must be registered in the Chattel Mortgage Register of the province where the property is located. Next, the above registration is required for the validity of the Chattel Mortgage between the parties. Place of registration with respect to certain movable. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina, class. Kapag motor vehicle, dapat uh, register mo siya sa LTO. B. Share of stocks. Chattel mortgage register in the province where the corporation has its principal office and in the domicile of the mortgage or unless their domicile is the same, in which case a single registration is sufficient. Next, vessel, or di kaya mga bangka, ganun, barko, office of the collector of customs at port of entry. So, sa customs, bureau of customs. Next, as regard to third person, so to bind a third person, an affidavit of good faith must be appended to the deed of chattel mortgage and recorded therewith in the chattel mortgage register. So, ano yung affidavit in good faith? This is a sworn statement attesting to the fact that the mortgage is made for the purpose of securing the obligation specified in the conditions thereof and for no other purpose in that the obligation is just and valid obligation and one not entered into for the purpose of fraud. So, parang sinumpa ang salaysay. Yun lang yun. Note, if the mobile instead of being recorded, is delivered to the creditor or a third person, the contract is a pledge and not chattel mortgage. So, take note class. Di ba mo, Babol? Uh, sabihin natin, motor. Motor yung nakakulateral. Kapag yung motor, i-deliver mo kay creditor, that is a pledge, not chattel mortgage. Kasi class, sa mortgage, hindi kailangan ng delivery. While sa pledge, kailangan ng delivery. Naintindihan? So, intindihan nyo yun. The provision on pledge in so far as they are not in conflict with the chattel mortgage law shall be applicable to chattel mortgage. So, take note plus, si mortgage, uh, sa mortgage, ang mag-apply is chattel mortgage law. Foreclosure of chattel mortgage. So, foreclosure tayo. Grounds for foreclosure. Number one, syempre, hindi nakapagbayad. Two, when there is any violation or hindi tumupad sa usapan si mortgage or. Kinds of foreclosure. Judicial foreclosure. So, ganun pa rin kanina. So, meron kang uh, filing of court action. Extrajudicial foreclosure. So, ganun pa rin kanina. Distribution of proceeds of foreclosure sale. The proceeds of sale shall be distributed as follows. Number one, the cost of sale. Two, claims of the person foreclosing the mortgage. Three, claims of person hold claims of person holding subsequent mortgage in in their order. And number four, balance if any shall be paid to the mortgage or so ibabalik yan sa original owner kung meron pang sobra. Deficiency judgment If the proceeds of sale are not sufficient to satisfy the claims of the creditor may institute a court action to recover the deficiency except in the case of chattel mortgage constituted on personal property which is sold at a price payable in installments or recto law So take note class ha Kapag sa recto law kasi tapos uh, nag-cancel ka tapos fear nor close mo any deficiency is hindi ka pwedeng uh, hindi ka na pwedeng mag-claim ng deficiency na intindihan kapag may stipulation void yon so here in chattel mortgage uh, nag-apply lang ito dun sa mga lump sum na intindihan or those uh, sale which is not payable in installments right of attaching creditor who redeems so here may example tayo 